to be here. I just got in from Vegas. Yes. And I love Vegas, but I lost a lot of money gambling. Like too much money gambling. Like an embarrassing amount of money. To the point where I was talking to my husband and I was all like, I have no money. And he was like, what happened to your money? And I just went, it got stolen. Because <laughs> I wanted some sympathy without the judgment. But of course he was on to me. He's like, do you know who took your money? Like, yes. It was a small Asian man in a bow tie. He just screamed, 21, and he grabbed it. I called for help, they just brought me a drink. It was awful. I've been married for two years, two years. It's way longer than I expected to. Marriage is hard because there's no way to know what it's like till you're in it. You know, you can't do research, there are no reviews. You can't just go on Yelp. And let's face it, if marriage was on Yelp, it would have one star. And every review would be like, not worth the money. The service is terrible. They should really change up the menu. It looks like no one's cleaning the bathroom. Just... But being single is no better. All my friends are single and dating. And I have a message for the men. Men, if you're the kind of man who likes to take pictures of his penis, dick pics, Dick Schurz, if you will. If you're the kind of man sending a dick pic, please know the woman you're sending it to is showing it to all her friends. <laughs> the women are laughing, the men look upset. And that is the circle of life. This is how every woman gets a dick pic. Standing, innocent, ping. Oh, is that my phone? Crazed monkeys, just ah, ah! That's the only way we can deal with it, showing the others. My friends are all crazy, but they did plan the best bachelorette party for me ever. I had a kick-ass bachelorette. It was me, four women like me. Where did we go? Europe. Went to Munich, Berlin, Amsterdam. Thank you, two people. Everyone else is like, yeah, we did that yesterday. Who cares? <laughs> Trip of a lifetime with my four best friends. Germany first, obviously terrifying. And I have a German last name, Von Hagen. So the Germans were very interested in me and what I was about. So I'd go to check into a hotel and I'd be like, oh, Christine Von Hagen. And they'd be like, what is your name? Von Hagen. And they'd be like, that is not how you say it. And I was like, well, uh, I'm from the new world. And that's just how we say it now. And they're like, no, it's a good German name. You should say it properly. I'm like, oh, how would you like me to say my name? And they're like, Von Hagen. <laughs> so I'm like, that's awesome. Yes, sold. So for the rest of the trip, I'm running around Germany all, Von Hagen, Von Hagen, Von Hagen. And they're like, that's your name. And I'm like, Danke Shane. And we'd laugh. <laughs> Easy jokes in Germany. But because they're German and they like to be creepy, they kept saying weird things to me, like, oh, that's a good German name, good German name, good German name. And I didn't know what that meant. Then I got all panicked, I had some weird Nazi name. Because I don't know that much about that side of the family. And when you're of German descent, you're not in a huge hurry to get on Ancestry.com. Just in case, I have no idea, but the last thing I need to do is be waddling through Munich with a schnitzel all, Fudhagen! And someone's all like, the butcher, like, no, 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 no. So I didn't know what to do when it was bothering me. So what I decided to do when I got home is just Google Von Hagen and Nazi, because I'm an idiot. And that's how I do all my research. I'm like, the internet will solve this for me. Von Hagen. See, mm, Google. And what I found out is a man, Von Hagen, with my exact last name from my part of Germany, tried to kill Hitler. For real, thank you, and you're welcome, weirdos, yes! In the whole Von Stauffenberg Wolf Layer bombing, he was involved in that, so I was all like, oh my God, that's sweet! Because I'm like, now, not only am I genetically superior, <laughs> but I'm more superior. I'm like, yeah. Check, check. <laughs> then off to Amsterdam by applause. Do we have Amsterdam fans here? Amsterdam? Oh my God. 
the best. And of course, this was my bachelorette party. So first stop, live sex show. Ooh. And I was excited about the live sex show. I'm like, oh my God, live sex show. I gotta learn sexual things, look out world. I didn't learn anything at the live sex show. <laughs> Actually, that's not true, I learned one thing, which is you can fit a lot more into your vagina than you think. <laughs> yes, and upsetting things. This is what I saw, a woman would come out, naked, then she'd just have a banana, and then a trick. <laughs> Everyone knows where the banana is right now, right? Okay, good. Very important, we're on the same page with this joke. But then this was like a running theme that another woman come out with a cigar, and then a trick, and then like a candle and a trick. And at first I was entertained, as any of you would be. <laughs> Look into your hearts. <laughs> but as it went on, I'm like, you know what? I get it, it's phallic, it's a bit boring, it's a bit creepy, like up your game, ladies, up it. I have the internet, I demand to be entertained. So this is what I'm gonna do, go to Amsterdam, join the live sex show, take it up a notch, add a little pizzazz. Gonna waddle out, very serious. I'm gonna wear a t-shirt, cause I'm shy, shy. I'm gonna have a Rubik's cube. <laughs> do you know where this is going? <laughs> You're gonna hand it to a man in the front row, catch the cube, catch it. Mess it up, hand it back. Good object work, well done. Insert. <laughs> shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. <laughs> Pull it out and it's perfect again, yes! <laughs> and I will be known as the Rubik's Pube. <laughs> and I will make one million euro a year, tax free. How are you gonna tax that? You can't, it's art. But I'll tell you this, because I've been talking about this a lot on stage recently, and after every single show, some nice man from the crowd will come up to me post-show, very serious, and just be like, you know you could do that, right? And I'll go, what are you talking about, even though I know? And he'll be like, the Rubik's Pube, it could be real. And I go, no, it could never be real. It's gross and a joke and I think impossible. <laughs> and he'll go, no, what you would do is have one in there ready to go. <laughs> Put the second one in, pull the first one out, you can do this! And I go, this is why I don't talk to boys. <laughs> you go!